As you add more routes to your application, you're going to reuse large chunks of code handling each route. These could be for things such as logging, recovery, authentication, or whatever you want it to be. This is where middleware comes in. Middleware is going to save you from rewriting a lot of the same code. And it's also going to allow your handler funks to look nice and clean. So a handler func is just a function that handles a particular route. Now, this handle func here is actually handling logging, recovery, and authentication, but it's still nice and clean. You can look at it and you can say, hey, what is this function trying to accomplish? And it's right there. We don't have all that extra code at the top of it we have to search through first. So let's go ahead and take a look at our code. If you don't already have the gin package, use the go get command to go get it. And we're going to be creating a data type called movie. And it is just a struct with fields describing our movie. In place of our database, we're going to be using a variable called movies, which is just a slice of movies. But don't worry, we will be using databases in future tutorials. Inside the gen package, we'll be using the new function that's going to be returning our engine, and we'll be saving that into our variable called router. Uh, something I didn't cover good enough in a previous video, I'll go ahead and cover that right now. Inside the engine data type, well, it is a struct and it has a field called router group. If we look at the router group data type, it has access to several different methods as we were using in the previous video. We were using get and we were using post. So that's how it gets access to those. Um, and our code though, notice that when we're using router.get, uh, we weren't putting a router group in there since uh, any data type within one of the fields is going to get promoted, um, it works the same as just we, you know, as leaving that router group out of there. So just something to mention. In a previous video, we were using the default function to return our engine, which automatically attaches logger and recovery middleware. In this video, we are using the new function, which returns our engine but it does not attach any middleware. So we're gonna to have to do that ourselves. And to do that, we're gonna use the use method, which takes a middleware, and a middleware is just any kind of gen handler func. Notice this is very, with the three dots, it's very addict, so we can pass in as many as we want. As you can see down here, we're passing in our three custom middleware. So first we're attaching our gen logger, our gen recovery, then the three middleware that we've created. So this is going to uh, keep this on a handler chain, which is just a slice of handler func. And like we said, handler funks just have to have our function signature, you know, where we're passing in the gen context. Let's go back to our code. So looking at our handler funks here, like I said, we have to have our gen context for all of them. So that qualifies. Inside each of our middleware functions, we're going to run the method next. Next should be used only inside of middleware, and it executes the pending handlers in the chain inside the calling handler. So once we're done with a middleware function, we'll run next, and it'll allow it to know, like, hey, go ahead and run the next middleware in the chain, which in our case, the next one we assigned was middleware func2 and then middleware func3. So let's go ahead and run this. browser. Okay, there we go. Let's go back. As you can see, these run in order. So we had middleware function one, middleware function two, and middleware function three, as you can see from our print statements. Now, if we take a look at middleware function three, notice with this one, this is kind of a pattern we've seen in previous videos. Say if you wanted some setup uh, logic, maybe in the top, you could do that and you could just return uh, your handler func, which in this case, it's just an anonymous function, but since it has the function sig signature that we need, which is just has, you know, passing in gen.context, uh, pointer to gen.context, we're good to go. Uh, but if you do it this way, just notice as when we're up here, we're assigning it, uh, just don't forget, uh, our closing parent our parentheses. So that way it returns that middleware function right here in our code. Remember that our variable router contains our engine, which is going to be handling all of our paths. 
So anytime that we use the use method to attach some middleware, well, that middleware is going to run on every single path. So in a way we could call it our global middleware. It's going to run on every single path, but let's say that we have some middleware that we only want to run on a couple of our paths. Well, we're going to have to create a new router group. And to do this, we're going to use the group method, which is going to return a router group. And let's, let's take a look at that. Our group method is going to return our router group, which we're going to be saving into auth router. And it's going to be taking a relative path. So in this case, slash auth. So to access this, any route that's going to use this has to have slash auth first. So for instance, as we're signing down here, uh, we won't, you know, using the auth router dot get, well, to get to this path, it's not going to be slash movie. It's going to be slash auth and then slash movie. And then as we can see here, uh, we're also going to be passing in as many handlers as we want. In this case, we're just passing in one. We're going to be using uh, the gen.basic auth, which returns a handler function, which returns a basic HTTP authorization middleware. So let's go ahead and take a look at that one in the browser. Now, remember, we're going through that particular router group, which means we have to go through that path for it, that relative path. And now we need to add our username and password. And let's go back and take a look. Uh, let's go with Joe and baseball. Yeah, why not? All right. So there we go, auth slash movie. And if we take a look at our code here, this one went through uh, auth. So here, cause this is the auth router, went through the relative, relative path auth slash movie. Uh, we use the create movie form handler, which is just going to use our parsed uh, create movie form HTML, which is just our form, put some values in there. And when we're done with that, it's going to post, which will take us through a different, different handler. So post, even though it's going to be still at slash movie is going to use the create movie handler. So we should see this one run. So we're going to be pulling, uh, those post form values. Uh, we're going to go ahead and save that to our new movie or to our movie data type variable, new movie, save that in. Then we're going to append it to movies. And then again, we're going to go ahead and go with the HTML, all movies, which we're passing in with one more movie appended onto there. So instead of seeing the three, this time we should see the four. Anyway, let's go back to it. So we're going to go ahead and submit, and this is going to post. Oh, there we go. We have our, we have one more movie and it has been added and again, uh, being that we just did the authentication stuff. We didn't have to do that again. Let's go back to our code. So in quick review, we have our, our router group that's on our engine, which all of the middleware attached to it is going to be run through every single route, even if we go through uh, slash auth. And we can create individual, more specialized uh, router groups, as many as we want. We've only created one, which was auth router group. But if we want to do that, then only this group would run, say, you know, the middleware that was returned from this function here. Um, anyway, uh, one thing we forgot to mentioned earlier is that we have along with, you know, in the context, it has the next method, but we also have the abort method. So let's go ahead and start this up again. Go back to here. Let's just regular movie. And as we can see, uh, the order of things are going to run is the middleware and then the handler. 
And since the middleware is hitting that abort, well, we're not going to even get to rendering our page. So let's go back to our code. So as we can see, middleware function one was printed out because that one did run. Middleware function two ran, and then middleware function uh, two ended. But we never actually ran our middleware function three printout because, well, we aborted up here. And of course, uh, we never actually, our handler func uh, for rendering our page uh, never got to run either because, you know, obviously the abort. So anyway, not too long ago, I started up my Buy Me a Coffee uh, account and I got my first donation. So um, I'm not sure how to pronounce uh, your name. I checked on how to pronounce.com. It sounds like Yaroslav. I'm not sure. But anyway, let me know in the comments below how I do pronounce that. Uh, big thank you. Really does help me out. Uh, if you like the content, uh, please like and subscribe. Um, and we'll try and keep the content, uh, keep it a coming. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you in the next one.